Hello friends of the channel. Today we're gonna turn a basic awful presentation like this into a well-designed presentation and animated like this one. So be quick to click on the subscription and like button and let's get started. Now let's get to the plan of the tutorial. First we're gonna create the numbers, then the gradient effect, then the last section will be animating the numbers. So first step, let's insert the numbers from 0 to 8. Let's tap 0, enter 1, enter 2, enter 3, until we reach the number 9. Perfect. So let's select them and make them centered right there. Now let's choose the font General Sans Semi Bold, which is my favorite font. Now we are finished with the style of the numbers. Let's make the numbers big with 287 size, which is 287, which is the perfect size for me. And let's cover them with a rectangle. Let's make sure we have more space on the top and the bar. Nice. Now let's select both the numbers and the rectangle. Let's go to merge shape and we hit combine. Let's remove the outlines and here's our first example. Nice. Now I'm gonna duplicate it by holding control and drag. Right, so let's preview them. Good. So let's drag both numbers to the right to fill that white spot. So one more thing here, let's cover the white areas right there by another rectangle let's remove its outlines and voila the first section is done let's move to the second one which is the gradient effect so to do that unique gradient effect we need to add random shapes so let's go to insert shapes and let's make random shapes like that this is the first one let's make the second one you can choose any path you want the third one and finally the last one So now the four shapes are ready. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna insert my color palette right there. And I color each shape with its color. So first I'll select them all and remove the ugly outlines. Then I will color each one with eyedropper. It's easy guys don't be afraid to apply it you know nice so let's select all shapes again go to format shape then soften the edges like that let's make them a little bit bigger at once and finally we put them under the numbers i'm gonna do some adjustments to the background which means i'll move the shapes right in there as you can see and now i'm gonna make all those the numbers and the rectangle white look at this beauty it's beautiful 
I'm gonna do some adjustments. So this is me, I seek perfection. Not all of the time, sometimes. Yeah, I think this is perfect. So one last thing about this effect. Let's add the percentage sign. So let's make that rectangle a bit bigger so we can avoid some issues while I'm mating. Now let's add the sign right there. Let's make it bigger as the number. A bit smaller than the number. In general sense semi bold of course. And I'm gonna make it gradient color. So to do that let's go to text option. And we hit great. I already did the colors, so I'm gonna change only the angle. Nice. Now the sign fits with the numbers. So now I'm gonna duplicate this slide twice. In the second slide, then the third one. So after that, I'm gonna copy paste the content, the title and the map from the presentation that I already did, which you saw on the reel, on Instagram and TikTok. Nice. And the third one, which is Switzerland. Perfect. And now to the third section, which is uh, animating the numbers. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna first apply morph transition on all slides. So to do that, let's hit Command A or Control A, select them all, then go to transition, then morph. After that, I'm gonna change the numbers. So side note here, those numbers are not real. So don't take them seriously, are just random ones. Yeah. And the third one, another random number. Okay, right. So now I think we are finished. Let's roll a first test. And here we go. The first problem. So how to solve this issue? Side note, I did it on purpose to show you how to solve it. So how to solve it? Let's add a letter to those numbers. Select them and type H. As you can see right there. So let's add h but it's visible in red so let's make it invisible how to do that let's make it white yeah that's right let's make it white and voila it's invisible now let's do the same thing with the other slides and let's roll another test and problem solved so this is it guys on how to transform an awful presentation into a banger one thank you for watching don't forget to support the channel by buying our templates or our upcoming course i don't know you know better than me so we can do banger tutorials like that thank you again for watching ciao